and welcome back to my channel. If you're wondering what happened with that kit from Amazon that made me have to stop setting up, keep watching. If you're wondering how I set up a kit to start diamond painting, then this is a video for YouTube. quickly I just wanted to say the unboxing that I just did I went to go ahead and set it up and I was going to film that but when I took the drill packages out of the bag that they come in you know packed all together the smell was so bad and so overwhelming I actually got sick I had to stop filming because my husband came in and my dogs go crazy and he gave me this little gift um, I have a Barbara shirt that says, um, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. <laughs> I used to watch him a lot years ago with my mother-in-law, actually. So, so cute, so awesome. But what I was saying before I had a cut off was I had to come in the living room and I'm just going to do, I'm just going to make the labels and stick them on. Um, I said in another video that I like the Harbor Freight cases, but I don't like them for bigger kits because I don't like having individual box, like more than one box. But this one has 34, so I need the second box because I can't use the, I don't know, it's the Doris and Elizabeth, whatever. It's the big multi-case, um, the case with multi-sized little <laughs> containers in it, but I'm going to need that for... Diamond Art Club's I Miss You, which is coming this week, Wednesday or Thursday. I am beside myself excited. So, I'm highly sensitive to smell anyway, and I've since learned that that's kind of common to people with fibromyalgia, but, and I've got, I get them used to getting sick from smells, but this one, on top of giving me a headache and making me dizzy and nauseous, has my heart racing so fast, it's kind of freaking me out. So hopefully it's just something with the packaging and the drills themselves are going to be fine because I really love this kit and I wanted to be able to, um, this will be the one that I take when I go out um, to craft with friends or, you know, upstairs or in my living room because the other one is huge. That's going to have to stay in the craft room and um, I'll be showing some of the modifications I've made to be able to do, do the drill painting. So, okay, I'll be back. Okay, I was able to get all the drills kitted up, and I think the drills themselves are okay. I just randomly sniffed a couple of the colors once I had them out of that packaging, and they seemed fine. So, I stick the picture of the canvas so I know which ones these go to. And like I said, these are my favorite, but I prefer not to have to have more than one um, container per picture, but I really do like these Harbor Freight ones. So then I photocopy the color chart and run it through the Xyron sticker maker and then stick these all on. And I use the repositionable one so that I can transfer it from here onto the Ziploc bag when I'm through. I really love this storage. One thing, though, you have to keep in mind is when you take them out, see the drills kind of get stuck up on that ridge, so you have to knock them so that you, they don't spill when you open it up. The only other thing that's minor that I wish this had was something, you know, like to section it off for each um, particular box, because you see when you take them out, and then they all fall and it just can sometimes be tricky to get them back in, especially if you're trying to do it one-handed. Um, so I wish they had slots, but really um, that's minor. And they hold so much because, so this particular color had seven packets and it's 1,200, it's 1,296 drills, and you can see there's so much room left. So these are awesome. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this while I wait for my Diamond Art Club to come. Well, thanks, guys. Have an awesome night.